What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. So recently on my Discord, somebody asked what could be considered a really simple question, but I'll go ahead and show you how to fix it now. So over here, you can see the issue in question. Basically, they have their input and output device selected at the very top and things should be working if they click the let's check button. But as you can see in red, you do not have any input devices enabled. You must grant Discord access to your microphone in order to be able to observe the input sensitivity. In order to actually hear it yourself and other people hear you, you need to give Discord access to use your microphone. So if you're someone who is struggling with this issue over here, how exactly do we go ahead and fix it? Well, it's actually really simple and it's actually documented on Discord's help documents. So let's begin. Hit start and then click the settings icon to bring up your settings screen. Inside of here, open up the privacy section and then scroll down until you see microphone. Click on it and you'll see this here. Simply make sure to turn on allow apps access to your microphone. Then under the camera section, do the same here. Allow apps to access your camera. After doing this, you successfully enabled the permission for Discord to use both of these. Scrolling down, if you expect to see it on this list, don't worry, it's only apps that are available in the Microsoft App Store. But scrolling down to the very bottom, you'll see this here. Allow desktop apps to access your microphone. Make sure that this is turned on as well. And if you click on Discord in here, you should see that it's currently in use. So that means that things are working as expected. If we go across to the camera tab, you'll see the same thing over here. Allow desktop apps to access your camera. So after turning these two options on in both camera and microphone, Discord should be able to use your camera and microphone as expected and that error should no longer appear. It's super simple. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful in it. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.